searching. Searching is the process of locating an item in a data collection. It is an important activity in several computer applications. In fact, a large amount of time of millions of computers in Internet is spent in searching a large variety of databases. The searching techniques differ with size and complexity of data structure. We have already studied the method for searching binary trees. Two advanced search methods known as breadth first search and depth first search are used for locating a specific item in a complex data structure. It is commonly used on trees and graphs. We shall explain these techniques later. For now, we explore two simple methods normally used to search arrays. These are categorized as linear search and binary search. Binary search a binary search can be performed if the array is in sorted order. In this method, an element to be searched is compared with the middle element of the array. If the middle element is greater, the search is continued to the first half of the array. On the other hand, if the middle element is smaller, the first half of the left is ignored and search is performed on the second half. This process is continued until either a match is found or the search area shrinks to zero size. Note that at each step, the array to be searched is reduced by half. Figure illustrates the binary search method. The element 28 to be searched is first compared with the middle element. The index of middle element is 0 plus 12 by 2 is equal to 6. Thus, 28 is compared with 45. Since 45 is larger than 28, the search is now restricted to element 0 through 5. The index of the middle element in the subarray is 0 plus 5 by 2 is equal to 2. The new middle element is 12. Since 12 is smaller than 28, it is next confined to element 3 to 5. The middle element of this subarray is 28, which matches with the element being searched for. Click the button to watch visualization of binary search procedure. Linear search. Linear search or sequential search is used for searching arrays in which data items are not in a specific order. In this method, beginning with first item, each item is successively compared with the item to be searched for. This process is continued until either a match occurs or the array is exhausted. The process of searching of an array is illustrated in figure. Click the button to watch visualization of linear search procedure. Implementation of linear search method The implementation of a linear search method is quite simple. Figure shows a listing of code fragment. It is designed to search an array X of integer for a value held by the variable key. The array is scanned in a loop. If a match occurs, the index of the matching element is returned. If the loop terminates without a success, minus 1 is returned. Please click the button to run interactive program for linear search. Analysis of Linear Search To search an array of size n, almost n comparisons are made between array elements and items to be searched if 
the element happens to be non-existent or if it is the last element. Thus, in a worst case, the running time of linear search is ON. The average number of comparisons would be N by 2. In the best case scenario, the elements being searched for is the very first item. Thus, in the best case, the efficiency of linear search is O1. Linear search is not an efficient search method, but if the array consists of randomly distributed elements, choice is restricted to linear search. Implementation of Binary Search Method An implementation of binary search method is shown in figure. Code includes a search method named bSearch. It is meant to search an array X of size count. It received an argument key of type integer to be searched for in the array. A loop is set up to scan the array. At each iteration, it computes the index of the middle element using variable left and right which identify the left and right boundaries of the subarray. The key is compared with the middle element. If middle element is larger than key, variable right is set to middle, where middle is the current index of the subarray being scanned. If middle element is smaller, left is set to middle plus 1. This process is continued until key matches with the middle element and value held by middle is returned. Otherwise, minus 1 is returned which signals that search has failed. Please click the button to run interactive program for binary search. Analysis of binary search method We have seen that in the binary search method at each step the size of array to be searched is reduced by half and a comparison is then made with the middle element. Thus, the number of comparisons is equal to the total number of partitions of sizes 1, 2, 4 and so on. If n is the total number of elements in the array, then as discussed earlier, the total number of comparisons would be log n. Thus, binary search method has running time O log n. The logarithmic function grows much slower as compared to a linear function. A comparison of the two functions is shown in figure. The binary search method is more efficient as compared to the linear search method. For example, in order to search an array consisting of 1 million items, we would need to make around 20 comparisons. A linear search of the array of the same size would involve about 50,000 comparisons on the average. A major limitation of the binary search method is that the array should be pre-sorted. This step itself would be time consuming for a large array. For very small data set, however, there will not be much difference in the linear and binary search methods. Further, the binary search method is not applicable to other data structures in which the middle element cannot be directly accessed. For example, it cannot be used on a linked list because there is no simple way to identify and access a middle element.